Welcome to Pediatric Calculations. Let's talk about maintenance IV fluid rate. So when I say maintenance fluids, it's how much fluid it will take for us to give to a patient to maintain his hydration status. Now maintenance IV fluid rate in our pediatric sim should always be written in mLs per hour unit. However, when I ask students for mLs per hour, you ask me for the volume and the time. You really don't need these two. Again, you only need the patient's weight to calculate for maintenance IV fluid rate in pediatrics. Let me show you. All right, so how do we calculate for maintenance IV fluid rate? I will teach you two methods. The first is through calculating for the daily fluid maintenance. Let's change his weight for this exercise and he's now 32 kilos. Let's say the doctor ordered dextrose, five and a half normal saline IV to run continuously at 50 mLs per hour. My job now as the nurse is to determine if this really is his maintenance rate. Okay, let me then take 32 kilograms and set up my two columns here. First column is the weight, which is always variable depending on the patient. So I'll have my first 10 kilograms, second 10 kilograms, and the 12 kilogram that corresponds to the patient's weight of 32. Let me set up my second column here, and this is where the constants are, okay? 100, 50, and 20. When I say constant, they are the same no matter what the patient weight is. Set it up, do the math. So multiply 10 times 100 is 1,000. 10 times 50, 500. 12 times 20 is 240 with a total of 1740 mLs per day. This means that 1740 is the amount of intake that this kid needs to maintain hydration status. This is good information, but 1740 is in mLs per day unit. Most of the kids I care for need to receive fluids via IV and 1740 is a big number. So remember in pediatric simulation, our unit needs to be in mLs per hour for the maintenance IV fluid rate. So how do you go from here to here? We will divide 1740 mLs by 24 hours in a day. So the answer is 72 0.5 mLs per hour. What do we do if the doctor orders 50 mLs per hour? Then we calculated this. We will call the doctor to clarify. So let's talk about the shortcut. As a bedside nurse, I need to learn how to be efficient, especially in calculations. I will keep this set up, but instead of using the 150 20, I will use a different set of constants. I'll use four two, and one. That's why it's called the 4 to one method. This way, at the bottom, instead of mLs per day, we will go directly to mLs per hour. We go straight from the patient's weight to the patient's rate. Again, set up your weight, first 10, second 10, and remainder. Like I said, set up the columns and do the math. This is 40, this is 20, and this is 12. We get 72 mLs per hour total, close enough to 72.5 mLs per hour from the first method? Absolutely. We will now pause the video to discuss any concerns or questions you may have.